This is the story of Milo the dog and his adventures one day. One day, Milo awoke to the sound of sea in his head. He didn't know what it was, so he thought he'd investigate. So off he went on his adventures. Milo saw a man running through the woods, so he thought it would be fun to chase him. The man ran away. It was all part of Milo's adventure for the day. Oh, there's that dog again! Hello, boy, come here. Come here, boy. Come here, I see it. What's your name, then, eh? I'm gonna call you Fang. Hey, Fang, come on, boy. Follow me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, boy. Hello, come on. Come on. Come on, boy. Follow me. Come on. I'll take you home. You don't want to come? Ah, all right, bye. Milo had other plans and headed in the opposite direction. He ran through fiddles. Forests. He ran along roads and pathways on his journey. He had some strange mushrooms in the woods. He saw trees. He saw colors. He stopped to talk to the trees, but they didn't make much sense. The world was going strange around Milo. He didn't realize. They were magic mushrooms. <laughs> Milo thought it fun, and he said something weird to a tree. The tree didn't listen, and Milo ran off, laughing his head off. In a doggy sort of way.
were dangers in every corner. Electrified fences. Just then, he came across what he was looking for in the distance. I know this smell, he thought. This is the place. This is where I need to be. He waited for the right moment and took the chance. He wasn't sure where he was heading, but he knew, he just knew, he would be heading in the right direction. Just then, the lady whose car it was stopped to the graveyard. Milo thought, oh no, I've set the alarm off. She's going to kill me. <laughs> She's going to kill me. He thought, I'd better get out of here. Here come the police. Oh no, they're going to arrest me. I'm off. He ran around the corner, bumped straight into the woman who was on the phone, probably calling the police. He took off quick. There was a strange smell in the air. And it wasn't this. Milo thought, I'll leave my smell here too. But somewhere, there was a stronger smell. He couldn't tell where it was coming from because it was all around him. He looked. Ah. And he smelt. And he found what he was looking for. That he awoke to this morning. That was the sound. He knew he was in the right place. Milo looked up and down the beach. Nowhere to be seen was his own. Milo looked and looked. But further up the beach was a man. And he dropped his t-shirt on the beach as he walked along. He didn't notice and carried on into the distance and was gone. A few minutes after, Milo the dog was on the scent. He recognized that smell from somewhere. He just knew that smell from somewhere. And he sat down and waited. But the tide came in and he was forced to move. He didn't know which way to go. And he thought, it's a nice day. I think I'll play in this water. 
He had a quick look at it. He took a taste, he didn't like the taste. He couldn't figure it out. What was this stuff? It's not like the water he's got at home. This tastes disgusting. And there's tons of this everywhere. Traveling, Milo sat down and took a work and rest. He'd been on the go since early in the morning. He was feeling just a little bit tired and a little bit worn out. So he thought he'd rest in the sunshine for a while. And maybe, just maybe, his owner might walk past. Just a minute. Off in the distance, Milo could see some strange shapes. And there was laughter and noises coming from them. It sounded human. So he thought, we have a wonderful look. There were lots of interesting colours and shapes, like little houses, all along the seafront. He didn't know what they were, but they were exciting, so he thought, I'll investigate back and front. He had another roll on his back and went on his way in search of his own. We just couldn't find him anywhere. So he thought, well, I'm at the beach, I might as well have a swim while I'm here and play in the water. It's quite a bit fun, this stuff. Just at the beach, the man had gone back to his holiday home, got himself another t-shirt, and bumped into an old friend on the beach. 
What are you doing here? Depends a coffee. Give me a hug. Let's go up this cafe up here and have a coffee. Okay. Yeah, it's a nice day. We're having a barbecue later. So off they went. The forgetful man forgot his bag this time. Just then, Milo the dog came along, sniffed the air, I thought, I know that smell, he's around here somewhere, and he went off to find him. Hello, what's going on? Who's this? Oi, oi, hello, looks dodgy. Just then, the lady came back down to the beach to find the bag the man left behind. But it was gone. Oh my goodness, it's gone. Oh, that silly man forgets things. He leaves things around the place. He's an idiot. Oh, what a wallow. Oh, oh you, you found my bag. Where did you find it? Oh, I'm an idiot. I leave it everywhere. Oh, where'd you find it? On the beach. Oh, cheers. Do you want a coffee? Come on. Buy your coffee. Are you coming to the barbecue tonight? Yeah. Yeah. We're all going to be there tonight. Cool. I'm glad you found my bag because that's got all the food in it for tonight. Come on, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Milo was hot on the trowel. He had the smell of coffee in his nose now, and the sound of alluring music in the distance. Somewhere like a beach cafe or something like that. And he knew he was in the right area, he could smell the smell. He knew he was getting close. Just ahead was the cafe where the man and the woman and the man who found the bag were sitting. Just here is the sign, the bicycle, the table, the chairs, but not the people. They'd gone. It had been a long day. Day turned to night. The barbecue started up. And the man was late and ran along the beach. He dropped his hat. He's an idiot. T shirt, now a hat. But he was late. And he went off, up the beach, looking for his friends for the barbecue.
The lady was sat on the beach waiting for her friends. One of them turned up. I found that bag again, he said. Oh look, it's a little doggy. Where did he come from? Don't know. Go on, shoo, shoo, shoo. Milo the dog ran back to the hat. Ruff, ruff, ruff. The lady went to investigate. lots of spare ribs and Milo tucked into one or two too. They had a nice little smoke and a drink and watched the moon rise and the sun go down and they all mellowed out on the beach. Oh, mm-hmm. 